Hi everyone, this is Binsi Madhu. It is the video number 3 of class 9 chapter. We are continuing with the same chapter, number system. We were discussed up to the uh, properties of irrational number, sum and difference. Already we have finished the third part is product. Product of two irrational number can again be irrational or rational. For example, root 5 into root 3 is root 15, which is clearly an irrational number. But root 5 plus 2, root 5 minus 2. This type of values we can multiply by using the identities, which you have already did in your class 8. These are a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square and very much important identity is a plus b, a minus b gives you a square minus b square. So this is in the same form a plus b, a minus b. We can use the identity as root 5 square minus 2 square gives you 5 minus 4, the result is 1, which is clearly a rational number. Now comes to the quotient. Quotient of two irrational number can be irrational or irrational. For an example, root 15 by root 3. 15 by 3 is 5, which is clearly a, uh, sorry, this is a, uh, root 15 by 3 gives you root 5 which is clearly an irrational number. Now, another example is 2 by 2 root 5 divided by 3 root 5. Root 5, root 5 will be cancelled. The result is 2 by 3 which is clearly a, a rational number. These were the properties of irrational number. Now, we are going to solve few questions from NCRT exercise 1.5. Question number 1. Classify the following as rationals or irrational. This is very easy question. You have to only identify the rational numbers and irrational number. You, I have already in the previous video, I have already given you the definitions of rational number and irrational number. You can easily classify these numbers as rationals or irrational. So, this is your homework. Second question number 2. Simplify 3 plus root 3 into 2 plus root 2. So, first term 3 will multiply by both 2 plus root 2 plus second term 3 method as we were solving for algebraic identities, the algebraic equations. 3 into first term multiply by both, then second term multiply by both. 3 into 2 gives you 6. Again 3 into root 2 gives you 3 root 2 plus root 3 into 2 gives you 2 root 3 plus root 3 root 2 gives you root 6. No like terms, so your answer is this. Second question of exercise 1.5, root 5 plus 2 whole square. Here we can use the identity a plus b whole square. So this gives you root 5 square plus 2 into root 5 into root 2 plus root 2 whole square. Which is root 5 square gives you 5 plus you have already... Uh, studied how to multiply two irrational number. 2 will be as it is and root 5 root 2 gives you root 10 plus root 2 square is 2. 5 and 2 are rational numbers. You can add it. 7 plus 2 root 10. This is your answer for question number 2. For question number 3, here we can easily use the, our identity number 3. Root a plus b a minus b into a plus b form the root 5 whole square minus root 2 whole square gives you 5 minus 2 which is 3. So this is your final answer. Make a note on it. 